like to talk about that clip we just saw? Well, sure, I would. Mike <laughs> Tyson and I, yeah. <laughs> we got something in common, you know. Mike and I talked about this thing, you know, and everybody's interested what would happen if Mike Tyson and Hulk Hogan were to lock up. Mm -hmm. So what's going down at WrestleMania 7 is Hulk Hogan's going out to get the WWF title, Arsenio. And once I get the WWF title and Mike Tyson gets his shot back at his title, we're going to sit down and talk about this thing. It's going to be a lot different than when I got hold of old Rocky Balboa, picked him over my head, and threw him about 100 seats out in the bleachers. This thing with me and Tyson could get intense. And can you imagine? They could charge $20 million for each TV set because everybody would want to see who's the real champion of the world, Hulk Hogan or Mike Tyson. Has there ever been a wrestler to fight a man of his caliber? Uh, there's there's been several boxing wrestling matches, but never never uh, did this Ali do ne never this yes Ali did against a guy named Antonio Inoki, uh -huh. and um, the wrestler just chased him all around the ring, and they were joking about it. But that's the difference. Me and Tyson got it on. <laughs> we get real serious back there. We're friends, but when we got in the ring. You saw how Mike Tyson is. He's intense, brother. Mm -hmm. And with all my millions of little hulksters watching my back, I'd have to get real intense too. <laughs> you better believe it. <laughs> Wait a minute, I got something to say before we come out here. Something's okay. been heavy on my mind. Okay. I got the red, white, and blue, man. I'm dressed like Desert Storm. And God bless America, man, because recently America's had to show what kind of muscle they've had, you know. And I got to say something. President Bush said something out here a few weeks ago, or maybe it wasn't a few weeks ago, a few days back, a few mm -hmm. weeks back, whatever, that really turned me on. He said, hey, the troops are coming home, man. Everybody get all psyched. The troops are coming home. The war's over. And when he said the war is over, it kind of hit me really hard, brother, because still behind the lines, still over there, all of our allied forces, all our friends, all the men and women that are still fighting over the Persian Gulf, the war is not over yet, brother, till each and every one of those dudes and women come home. And because of that, I got me a set of dog tags, man. These are symbolic, and these are for Arsenio Hall to wear, because until the war is over and until each and every one of those Hulkamaniacs come back, comes back home, it's not over. Hey, man, put this on, too. This yeah. is... This is Hey. hey, this right here. This is Arsenio Hall's Beverly Hills Desert Storm attire. And he's going to keep wearing this stuff night and day until each and every one of those Americans comes back home. Because the war is not over until all of our people get home and until I bust that Sergeant Slaughter up in WrestleMania 7. Okay, now we got to talk about him. We, let's take a commercial and come right back and talk about that Sergeant Slaughter. This uh, that would be a fight. <laughs> I'm taking Mike during the Star Spangled Banner, not even the first round. <laughs> uh, Henry Winkler uh, as the Fonz did it, John Travolta as Vinnie Barber.